performing a fresh install of VMware vCenter Server 5.1 and will demonstrate the vCenter Server single sign-on, the vCenter inventory service, and the vCenter Server components being installed using the simple install method. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 2032885. In the software installer directory, double click the autorun.exe file to start the installer. Select VMware vCenter simple install and click install. Follow the prompts in the installation wizard to choose the installer language and agree to the end user patent and license agreements. Set the password for the vCenter single sign-on administrator account. Select the database type for vCenter single sign-on. For the purpose of this video demonstration, we will install the SQL Express database, which is bundled with the installer. Enter the FQDN or IP address for the vCenter single sign-on host machine. In this tutorial, we will provide the IP address. When you provide an IP address and click next, you will see a warning message like the one currently appearing on screen. This message simply is stating that VMware recommends using an FQDN for production-based installations in order to mitigate potential issues further down the line resulting from IP changes. We will just click OK and continue with the installation. Select the folder in which to install vCenter server components and click Next. Accept or change the HTTPS port for vCenter single sign-on and click Next. Click Install to begin the installation. The vCenter single sign-on will be installed first. During the installation you will see files being extracted, the bundled SQL server being installed and the vCenter single sign-on services and components being configured. For the sake of time in this tutorial, I will fast forward the installation sequence. Once the single sign-on installation has completed, the vCenter inventory service installer will automatically launch and start. I will also fast forward this installation sequence. After the inventory service installation has completed, the main vCenter server component installer will then begin. At this point, you will be presented with the option to provide the vCenter server license key. You can provide the key now, or you can do it at a later stage. The vCenter server will be installed in evaluation mode. As we are using the SQL Express Bundle database, we will just click Next at the database options screen. When prompted, specify whether you want the vCenter server service to run in the default Windows local system account or in another administrator user service account and click next. Here we see the same warning as earlier and once again this is just reiterating that for production environments an FQDN should really be used but for the purpose of this video we are going to stick with the IP address. Customize the vCenter server ports if you wish and click next. Specify the inventory size of your vCenter server installation and click Next. Clicking Install will begin the installation. This installation can take several minutes while the installer installs and configures all of the relevant files and components. I will fast forward the installation sequence for the sake of time in this video demonstration. Here the final components of the installation are being configured and now you can see the installation has completed. Click Finish to close the installation wizard window. And finally, you should see a confirmation message like the one being shown on screen, which just confirms that the installation has completed successfully. This concludes our look at installing VMware vCenter Server 5.1 using the simple install method. For additional video tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel and our KBTV blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.